Hey, I'm Paul McGuire. Welcome to The Countdown. We begin this week with High Valley, who just released a new acoustic EP called Farmhouse Sessions, featuring some new acoustic renditions of some fan-favorite tracks. All the songs were recorded in their farmhouse just outside of Nashville. About the project, High Valley's Brad Rempel said, We were out on our first headline tour in the U.S. this fall and witnessed so many amazing fans singing our songs back to us. We wanted to be able to share that feeling with everyone, so we put together a few of our favorites. Very nice. Seven tracks in all. Farmhouse Sessions is available now. They are up for New Vocal Duo or Group of the Year at the Academy of Country Music Awards. That takes place in Las Vegas April 15th, and it airs on CBS. Good luck, boys. High Valley's Young Forever is just where it was one week ago, number 20. High Valley, Young Forever, in at number 20 for a second week in a row. Kane Brown is in the Guinness Book of World Records. He is the first act to top five U.S. country charts simultaneously. Country digital song sales for his current single, Heaven. Country airplay, hot country songs, and country streaming songs for What Ifs featuring Lauren Elena. And the top country albums chart for his self-titled 2016 debut. And if that wasn't enough, Kane is also nominated for an ACM award in the Vocal Event of the Year category for What Ifs. It is the fourth single from his aforementioned self-titled debut, Kane Brown's Heaven, makes its chart debut at number 19 this week. Lying next to you, in this bed with you, I ain't convinced, cause I don't know how, I don't know how heaven, heaven could be better than me. And another chart debut, Tebe's Denim on Denim, jumps onto the chart at 18. Girl, you look like 11. My hand in your back pocket, holding on so tight. Going a blue jean heavy, a little denim on denim. Brand new Tebe, Denim on Denim, making its chart debut at 18. Blake Shelton's latest hit, I Lived It, is an ode to his Oklahoma upbringings, so it's no surprise that the video is steeped in nostalgia. Blake told Billboard, it's basically a time capsule. And I'm walking through this farm that I grew up on, and I'm seeing images of myself growing up, recalling all these memories of me fishing, my first truck, and me as a kid. I Lived It moves up two positions to number 17 this week. Back in time, cause I miss it. You wouldn't know to love it like I love it unless you lived it. The man I lived it. Blake Shelton, I Lived It up two to 17 on the countdown. Since it is April and I'm still wearing sweaters inside, let's think ahead to summer, shall we? Darius Rucker is coming to Toronto. The Summer Plays On Tour with Darius, Lady Antebellum, and Russell Dickerson of yours fame will play the Budweiser stage on the shores of Lake Ontario on the 19th of July. Hmm, just thinking about that warms me up. The city will still be hopping from the Leaf Stanley Cup victory and Raptors championship wins. The Jays will be in first place overall and will be outside singing and partying with Darius and Charles and Hillary and Dave and Russell. It'll be great. I'm in an optimistic mood. It made its chart debut at number 17 last week for the first time. Moves up one position to number 16. What are you laughing at? Darius Rucker, for the first time, up one spot to number 16. Florida Georgia Line have had their share of number ones, 10 in Canada alone, but their latest single, meant to be with pop singer B.B. Rexa, is taking them into previously uncharted waters. It currently sits at number one on Billboard's country chart, where it has been for quite a while, but even more impressive is that it has reached number two on Billboard's all-genre Hot 100 which is an all-time high for BB and FGL, and is the highest position held on the chart for any country duo or group since Lady Antebellum peaked at number two in 2010 with... Anyone? Need You Now, a song that ended up winning Record of the Year and Song of the Year at the Grammys and Academy of Country Music Awards, and Single of the Year at the Country Music Association Awards, is meant to be the new Need You Now? I don't know. BB Rex is meant to be, featuring Florida Georgia Line, is it at number 15 for a second week in a row? Want, but if it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. Sing it, baby. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. Let it be. 
Andrew Hyde's Do It With You drops five spots to number 14. Five more minutes from Scotty McCreary drops seven positions to number 13. Gord Bamford's Neon Smoke moves up one position to number 12. And Anthem from Brett Kissel drops one position to number 11. Brett Kissel, Anthem, down one spot to number 11 on the countdown. 10 down, 10 to go. It's time to head to Hollywood for Zach Selwyn's One Minute Music Minute. It's the One Minute Musical Minute. -bop -doo 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 -doo. Hey, it's Zach Selwyn. Welcome to the One Minute Music Minute, live from my kitchen. And as you can see, my daughter wants my job. It's a One Minute Music Minute with Southerly Selwyn live in her kitchen. We start this week with singer Mandy Moore, who took to Instagram to ask for help in finding her brother's lost cat that disappeared in Koreatown. Numerous sightings of the cat were called in, including this bibimbap, this bulgogi, and this kimchi stew. <laughs> Sometimes they just write themselves. The Brothers Osborne stated they believe their music connects with fans because they are 100% themselves and the real deal. Although this photo of the Brothers just five years ago says something a little differently. <laughs> Those are the guys who got the surgery to look like Brad Pitt, by the way. Great job. Marin Morris and Ryan Hurd got married and whisked off to their honeymoon in Bora Bora this past weekend, where they competed in who could stare out at nothing while drinking a beer photos. Fans took to Instagram to say they were the sexiest rock star vacation pictures ever. Obviously, they missed this shot of ACDC on vacation in 1975. Thing is, that bathing suit's actually acceptable in Australia. That's your One Minute Music Minute. I'm Zach Selwyn. Anyone else hungry for Korean food? It's the One Minute Musical Minute. -bop -doo 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 -doo. Thank you, Zach. Follow Zach on Twitter at Zach Selwyn. All right, we break into the top 10 with Dirks whose newest hit hits close to home about his relationship with his wife, Cassidy. He says, the more life goes on, the more we just grow closer and closer, and I'm just more grateful for her. I feel like the song is very personal, very honest, very direct, but it's also very universal. Woman Amen moves up two positions to number 10 this week. One number away from Luke Combs jumps up five positions to number nine. And Good Together from the James Barker Band moves up three positions to number eight. Like a first kiss James Barker Band, no strangers to the top 10, up three positions to number eight this week with Good Together. That is their fifth single. All four previous tracks, Lawn Chair Lazy, Just Saying, Chills, and It's Working, were top 10 hits with Lawn Chair and Working peaking at number three. And of course, Chills making it all the way to number one. And now with a country album of the year, Juno, to add to their resume, it is safe to say that the James Barker Band are the biggest country band in Canada. What? Hi, Valley. No, they're, they're a duo. I said a band. All right, I know that there aren't many bands, but it sounds good, and they're on fire. Shut up. Thomas Rhett has so many things going for him in his career these days that there are so many ways you could compliment him, like telling him you like his latest single, Life Changes, or telling him how much you enjoy his live show. But Thomas says... Probably some of the best compliments I ever receive are when I do check on Twitter or Instagram and read like some of the comments people leave on photos. I do love when moms of little kids will comment and say, 
you know, we love how you and Lauren are stand-up people on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Because I do have a lot of kid fans, you know, and I do try to, like, watch my mouth on stage and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I, I just want to be a good role model for little kids that are coming to those concerts that can get kind of rowdy. At least in the midst of the rowdiness, I just want to be, like, a good figure for them. In the midst of the rowdiness, like that, there is Thomas Rhett. Marry Me drops three spots to number seven. Thomas Rhett, Marry Me, down three positions to number seven. Lindsay L's latest album, The Project, produced by Sugarland's Christian Bush, came out last August and was the number one selling country album the week it was released. It's an album that was a lifetime in the making, and now she's reaping the rewards of all those years of hard work. I grabbed a few minutes with her this week on FaceTime while she was in New York City. What up, Paul McGuire? <laughs> How are you? How's it going? Are you you prepping yourself for your big FaceTime interview with me? Prepping, completely prepping, just for you. Welcome to the car. Hi, car. You can see our car. This is Eddie, our driver. Hey, Jay. Eddie. Coco. Fast Taylor. Eddie. Hey, Coco. Hey. Hi. Sorry. I have to do this in a group setting, but we've been running a little bit, and I wanted to make sure this happened before you left. We have a great freeze going on with your face. I'm actually at my, I've now made it to my in-law, uh, my sister's place, rather. My sister's oh, house, where we're having a delayed, uh, well, a kind of a late Easter dinner. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, I'm try as you can hear them partying in the back. I'm totally. I'm trying to move I'm, around to where the Wi-Fi is better. I'm uh, preventing my... you from partying. I mean, it could be me. However, I do have five bars, so. No, you, I've, have I got five bars? I think I have five bars. I've got five bars. You kind of sound like you're bragging a little. Dang it. Dang it. I, I will always brag about my service. <laughs> Wi-Fi envy. I have Wi-Fi envy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, how's life? How's the project treating you? How's uh, traveling around knowing that everybody's loving your music these days? Uh, number one in sales the week of release. Uh, uh, I couldn't be prouder. It's amazing. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for being a believer in me from the beginning. It's been awesome. I mean, to finally get to release a record and see fans fall in love with it as much as, you know, my peers in the industry fall in love with it has been awesome. And then now to have a single that is, I think we are number six in Canada. Right now, as it stands, that's correct. Yeah, up two spots from last week. So crazy. And we're in 21 in the States. And so it's just, it's so exciting. I love seeing fans fall in love with Criminal as much as we do. And the music video is coming out on the 7th. So we're less than a week away. And you may or may not see me in a prison. I may or may not have committed a crime. It's going to be exciting. I wouldn't put it past you. I mean, you would have, it's very, very like me. Very like me. Lindsay L's Criminal moves up two spots this week to number six. Criminal, Lindsay L up two spots to number six. Jason Aldean's eighth album, Rearview Town, comes out next Friday. Entertainment Weekly did a nice piece on Jason for their March 30th edition. They asked him which of his new songs he's proudest of, and he said, Rearview Town. It's a dark, haunting song that just sounds badass. It almost reminds me of watching some of my favorite bands on MTV in the 80s, like coming home and seeing a Bon Jovi video. Part of the reason I named the album that was because it's a metaphor for putting all the bad stuff that weighs you down behind you and looking down the road to the better things ahead. Over the last five years or so, my professional and personal life has just been a roller coaster for me. It is a strong song and album name. I kind of like it. You make it easy. The lead-off single from the album Rearview Town moves up two spots to number five this week. Jordan Davis's debut single, Singles You Up, moves up one spot to number four. Devin Dawson's All On Me is in at number three for a second week in a row. When it gets heavy, put the weight on me, baby, put it all on me. Put it all on me. And no movement for Mr. Stapleton this week either. Broken Halos remains at number two. Chris Stapleton, Broken Halos, in at number two for a second consecutive week. All right, we've come to that time in the show when we reveal 
that Luke Bryan is number one for a second week in a row. But first, a revealing photo of Luke Bryan on holiday in Hawaii with his kids Bo and Tate and his nephew Till all shirtless and shoeless on a green on a golf course somewhere nearby. There's a club official shaking his head wondering why he's not allowed to kick these yahoos off his course. As Mel Brooks said in History of the World Part 1, It's good to be the king. Luke Bryan, Most People Are Good, the number one song in the country. Ashamed of, I believe this world ain't half as bad as it looks. I believe most people are good. Luke Bryan, Most People Are Good, the number one song in the country for a second consecutive week. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks to Lindsay L. for the FaceTime, and thanks to you for your time. Subscribe to Ole TV and never miss a thing. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Paul McGuire. We'll see you next week. Hey, I'm Paul McGuire. Thanks for tuning in. Click here. Here? here. I'm not a weatherman. Whatever. Click here to subscribe. Somewhere here to subscribe for more from Ole TV. And if you would be so kind, please like and share this video.